Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you don't mind, subscribe. Well, yesterday was a long day. <laughs> uh, we got up, uh, I'm trying to think, around 2.30 a.m. Now, why was we up so early? Well, the day before, we did similar, but not quite as early, to take our company down to the port. Uh, Grace had family from Cebu visit last week and we actually took them to the port on Sunday and they couldn't get a ferry. One of the ferries was uh, uh, not, oper uh, not operational and it was major overload so they didn't get to go home which is, you know, it's, it happens. So they was advised to go super early the next day. Now, the first ferry leaves at 7 a.m. But in order to get a place in line, it was suggested to them to be there somewhere around 3 to 4 a.m. So we got up early yesterday morning and we roll on to the port, <laughs> uh, which is only about 45 minutes from here. Uh, if our road wasn't a dirt road, I could probably drive it in 30 minutes or less. It's not really that far. And uh, so we took them and we dropped them off at the port. And yes, they got the 7 a.m. port, uh, uh, 7 a.m. ferry. And they arrived in Cebu safely. Next event on the agenda yesterday was after we come home, I took a short nap before breakfast uh, to try to <laughs> regroup. And we uh, had breakfast in our showers and so forth. And we headed to San Carlos. Since it was holidays all last week, uh, there was no banking uh, between the holidays and San Carlos's Fiesta. Uh, we probably could have went south and drove a couple of hours, or more than a couple of hours, I think about three hours to the nearest branch bank other than San Carlos, uh, thereabouts. But we decided we just wait. So we went to San Carlos. And for those of you not familiar with banking in the Philippines, if you uh, have a pension account, as they call it, uh, direct deposit for Social Security or any pension, uh, you have to go personally in the bank to sign the forms. Uh, there is a way around that, but that's on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, I do have a friend that his wife goes in, but he's not capable of travel now. He is um, basically restricted to home. Uh, sad to say. But that's the way it is. So uh, we met, we seen his wife in there, and she was doing their monthly banking. Uh, me personally, I've got. Uh, we got. I got two different accounts. One is um, a little check from my my injury, if you want to call it a check. It's so small, but it it does help out. Uh, I get um, a grand total of sixty six dollars and sixty cents every two weeks for an injury I had back in nineteen eighty, uh, mining accident which, to be honest with you, I didn't even file for that claim. Uh, I was so bullheaded, I thought work was the only way. But that's what the insurance company uh, said I would get. Uh, that's life. But anyway, we got all that taken care of. We each went to the grocery store and 
um, it costs more. <laughs> uh, I can remember times when I first came here. If we uh, spent 5,000 pesos, roughly $100, on groceries, it was uh, a shocker. Uh, yesterday, we spent for a month of grocery at two different places. Uh, roughly, I think, around 13,000 pesos. That's a big change <clears throat> over the years. But... That's what happens. Things go up. I'm not complaining because don't go hungry as you noticed. Uh, but it does uh, affect uh, uh, things that we want to do at home. But everything went well. We had a we got our tank of gas and so forth. Grace picked up a couple extra items for. Uh, one of our friends got a birthday today, and we're going to treat them uh, on a little road trip, a little road trip, small. I might get a chance to even do a little bit of a video of it, but it's a very close friend to Grace, and, uh, and she did something special for Grace's birthday back last March, so uh, Grace wants to do something for her, got her a birthday cake and some flowers. Uh, and uh, stuff of that nature. But anyway, that's what's going to happen today. Now, we did one other thing, too. You know, I mentioned that uh, my inverter had went into fail failure for no reason. And, uh, well, I've actually ordered a replacement because uh, for every day it's offline, uh, that's an extra 300 pesos. You multiply that by 30 days, it's a sizable amount. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that's what we're going to do and what I did, which we recover uh, over next year uh, after January, or uh, what's starting January. Um, I did we did something that uh, we've actually pawned some of the gracious jewelry to uh, so we can pay for this inverter that's coming it should be here hopefully either tomorrow or next day and uh, I'm going to try to do a video of getting it out of the package and going over what it's capable of and also the installation might be interesting to some of you. But anyway, that's another day's life in the Philippines of my life. And I've been busy, and as you can see, my, my eyes look tired. I'm so tired, I really couldn't sleep last night. Uh, I did sleep some. And I'm going to try to take another nap before Grace gets up uh, this morning. But that's the events that's happened over the last couple of days. Thought people might be interested, or maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> but anyway, folks, uh, I really appreciate each and every one of you that do take time out to see my videos. And if you're new, subscribe.